Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for XCOM Chimera Squad. We are, uh, I think, six or seven, maybe eight missions in. I can't remember exactly how many missions we're in, but um, just finished another successful mission. Now, we do have some anarchy building up. We've got to be very, very careful with where, where we're at at the moment. Uh, we actually have three districts at max unrest, which is not good. <laughs> you know, we've got to deal with some of this. Um, but we do have a few things coming back, so we can deal with some stuff. Let's... Uh, Let's get a promotion first. Mr. Cherub here. Uh, Cherub gains one charge at the end of each encounter. Could come in handy. Guard, at the end of the turn, gain plus one armor. A half cover bonus even if flanked and become... Wait, sorry. At the end of the turn, gain plus one armor. A half cover bonus even if flanked and become half cover for friendlies. Guard breaks after being attacked. Wow, so we actually become cover for friendlies after also getting some armor. Interesting. Huh. I mean, generator's cool, but I feel like guard is like pretty awesome. I mean, they're both good. Don't get me wrong. Um, let's see. So we have some stuff to spend. We do have some intel. Let's do the intel thing first because I need to deal with some of this really bad mess right now. And then we have no way to lower these things. That's not good. So if we got a field team in every district, we could lower stuff, but that is easier said than done because we've got four districts that need field teams at the moment. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I don't think freezing district unrest makes any difference. Maybe if I'd done it the last last one, it would have made a difference. But yeah, I think we're in trouble here. We're about to get three more, I think, stuff. Um, Because we can't go after this. We can go after one of these two, though. 45 intel here. Uh, that would help a little bit. That probably helps more than the Illyrium. So we'll probably go after this one here in a second. But I do need to send a fill team out first. I mean, let's send a fill team with one of these two. And we're going to send, uh, I guess, the credits. That's going to be okay. And we need this intel to send out another one. But we're still going to be too short from being able to trigger... Um, like the Major Crimes Task Force, for example. We're about to be able to do Vigilance, uh, though, because and that'll lower one of these a little bit. So that's a thing, I guess. Oh, let's make sure we send somebody out before we advance the day um, or set something else up. Uh, Spec Ops, what is your scar? Dodge reduced, ooh. I mean... Not the worst thing in the world. Um, we can probably delay that a little bit. Still not great. Could like send this guy out there instead for now. And um, have him go do something else until he has a chance to, to remove that scar. Because I really don't want to get behind on the scars to be fair. So that's actually possible, uh, probably a good idea. Let's assign blue blood here. And then... Um, put this guy into the spec ops or something. I still feel like like the legwork is still just the best. Until we get a, uh, a thing in all the zones, I feel like we need the intel. So we'll assign Zephyr here. I mean, it's going to be three turns without Zephyr, which is rough, but I feel like that's okay. Um, and then I guess we do one of these missions to advance the day. We'll get her back, which is great. Yeah, I guess that's okay. So we'll do the intel mission here. Which means we're probably going to get three anarchy. Oh, it's only one. Okay, no, that's fine. I mean, still means there's three things to get rid of before we can start not increasing anarchy. Okay, um, so we got the assembly completed. We got the breach tactical equipment done. Uh, we can start another one. We have a lot of Illyrium, so probably a good idea to go after one of these things. And I got to figure out which one we're going to go after. I mean, shotgun. 
we just make what's his name? Um, yeah, I'm not going to start one out. We could just make him just a, just a nightmare to deal with. Um, still, her these two right have. Um, let me go back. Where do I want to look for? I want to go for the armory because I want to see their loadouts. Loadout. So she has a submachine gun. Um, he has a shotgun. She has a submachine gun. He has a pistol, right? So that would be useful. And he's got a pistol. So that would actually give us two people with pistols. So that would be like a double dip there at least. What's your loadout? You have a assault rifle. And then you have no, obviously, no ranged weapon. And then you have an assault rifle, which we haven't used you yet. I mean, maybe if we're planning on bringing blue blood more often, we do the pistols, because that gives us double dips on the pistols. I mean, blue blood can do some damage. Still, I mean, the shotgun feels like a good idea as well. You know what? Let's do the pistols. Let's double dip the pistols. That'll give us a reason to bring both those guys. Um, yeah. Six turns. We're probably going to want to send somebody over here to help us out, though. But let's do that. We don't really have anybody to send there. Uh, unless we send her. I mean, she is currently idle. I mean, we can send her up here to... In place of Blue Blood until Blue Blood gets his pistols. Like, Blue Blood can stand here for the pistol thing and increase that. That's an idea. I still would like to send somebody after training, but that's probably going to be here in a minute. Although, we could send one of these guys for two turns to the training... Still, those pistols would be so awesome. How much... Uh, who's got the least armor right now? You're at seven. Wow, that is so low. I feel like we actually have to do you. Just send you to go get you some, some health or something, buddy. You're just too weak at the moment to be, even be useful. So we'll send Blue Blood here. Two turns on that. Get him a little bit more health, and then we'll send her up here. I think that'll work. And then once that training's done, we can send him down here. Then if there's still some time on this, Blue Blood can come up there or something. I feel like that works. Okay, so we have some scavenger items. And I really would love to do this. Increase subdue damage by two. That is... That is huge. That gets us up to a five subdue. Shots apply hollow target to the target, which grants allies a plus 15 in bonus against that target. Pretty useful. Damages removes or shreds armor from targets in a small area. Destroys most cover. Frag grenades. I mean, frag grenades are also incredibly useful. I mean, this is a lot of intel. Can we... I mean, 60 intel would be how much we need to do another one of these missions, right? Which I don't... Th Did we have another thing that had 60 intel on it? Uh, like, what would we send? Probably over here, maybe? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's 65. Of course it's 5 extra. So we can't do that. I think we have to take the scavenger thing because the, sca the scavenger thing doesn't come every only once every four days. So we've got to take one of these things and just like, be really happy with that. I mean, the targeting system is pretty awesome. But I mean, the subdue. That's a five damage melee hit. Not a lot of our stuff's going to do five damage, but it's a lot of intel. Um, and the frag grenade. I mean, the frag grenade takes in one of our grenade slots. Eh, I mean, with uh, with uh, with the other guy. I mean, we kind of already have a frag grenade in a lot of ways. Targeting system. We already kind of already have hollow targeting as well. I'm tempted to just suck up the AD intel and have a massive. I mean, this right here could actually pay for itself. Um, you know, with a few missions because we'll have a higher chance of getting some intel for free or, you know, from, from as part of the missions. I think we take this. I mean, it's insane. But I think we have to take that. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, let's get that. That's fine. We do have credits to be able to do something here. 50 crit chance bonus at this breach point. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Expanded magazine, laser, all the things are good. They're all good. Trank rounds could be useful. Tracer rounds.
Hmm. A hair trigger. When firing, the agent has a 10% chance that the shot will cost no, or not cost an action for the active turn. Oh, that's really good. I forgot that's what the hair trigger did. That is really useful. Oh, Cherub can't use it. Eh, I guess that makes sense. I guess his, his subdue is different. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I feel like we have to do something with the, the supply. we got to get something here to just continue to push us. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the mission, and then I think we can do the supply from the mission itself. Uh, we have to do this one, right? Uh, I say that. Effectively, these do the same thing, though, right? Except this one also gives us 40 intel, because they both reduce it by 2. Uh, is one different? This one's uh, very difficult. And I'm assuming this one's very... I mean, they're both very difficult. But this one gives us 40 intel. As well as the reducing it by 2. So, yeah. Effectively, they do the exact same thing. But this one ends up being better. Unless the emergency does something that I'm just not aware of. What does it say? No, it just, it just lowers it by two. I think it's just because it just now hit max, and so that's why it's going to lower it. Okay, we'll do this one. Because the extra intel is going to be useful. Um, all right, let's just click on one of you guys and make some items available real quick. What kind of breaches do we have? We have a wall and a door, so it looks like the key card may not make a difference. Was there another breach item that we would prefer, though? Breaching charge. But I bet somebody else can take the breaching charge. Yeah, I was going to say, somebody else could take... Oh, uh, she's not going to want the breaching charge. You know what we'll do? We'll give her the card on the off chance it does something. But since it's probably not going to do anything, um, that's okay. Because she still has that other thing that we can use. The uh, Increase the uh, attack, or whatever I'm trying to say. The uh, hollow targeting. There we go. Words are hard. Uh, okay, so that's that. We still have the heal breaching item on Cherub at the moment, which is probably okay. We have a couple vests. Who do we want to have the dodge? Honestly, probably Cherub, actually. Although he's already got extra padding, which is potentially better. I mean, somebody needs it just because to have it. I mean, why not? All right, we'll give it to her. And then we have the hair trigger and the impact frame. So let's give her the impact. No, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to give her the impact frame. Because the other chick's probably going to do some zappage and stuff. So we'll give her the impact frame. We'll give him mm, the tough one. I mean, I'd like him to have the uh, not cost an action thing. <laughs> it's a tough one. Um, let's get rid of this. We'll do the hair trigger on that. And then we'll get one of these other guys like... We'll do this. We'll do this scope here. Um, and then we'll do the damage here. It's hard to say if that, any of that was better or not, but I guess it's going to because I don't know how much she's going to use her actual weapon. That's the problem. Uh, we still have the flashbang grenade, which... Hmm. I'll give it to you. And we'll see if that's good enough. Okay. I think that's going to have to work. I'm not giving anything to Fist. I mean... We've only got one projected encounter, so Fist isn't going to come in on this one anyway. We'll see if this is enough. A couple of breaching charges, some other things. Let's find out. Only one way to find out. Go do it. That contraband is under heavy guard. I feel like we did one like this before. And uh, the last time, one of the previous attempts that we've done. Uh, I mean, we definitely want to take advantage of the breach charge, I think. Um, quick disable. First unit through this entrance will have the weapon disabled. That's awesome. Uh, that's terrible, obviously. Uh, all units through this entrance get plus 50 dodge. That's awesome. 
All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. The last unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. Ooh, that is awesome as well. I mean, the plus 50 dodge is great. But I think we do this. And we'll send Terminal first because I want Claymore to be the last because he does so much damage. Um, we'll do Cherub next. Patchwork and... Yes, that works fine. And then we'll do Claymore. I mean, it doesn't really matter because nobody's going through the door. All right, I like it. Let's do it. Fire in the hole. Oh, hollow targeting. All right, so we have a guaranteed shot against somebody. So probably whoever's the worst position or something like that would be what we use for that I mean I think we gotta take the 100% just to get the guaranteed something here yeah, we're only three damage um, we've only got one encounter so we might as well use phalanx right in theory gets me some charges that I can use against these other guys I mean, I want to go after the Hitman here. Just because he's a... There's a slim chance we kill him. I don't think it killed him. But we have a guaranteed shot here, which is awesome. Possibly the Legionnaire here. Slim chance that we can do enough damage to kill him. Uh, can't tell if I did it enough or not. Immune. Did we kill the Legionnaire? I think we did, actually. Yeah. There we go. We killed the other guy, too. That no, that worked out pretty yeah, well. We also have a charge on you. Uh, worked out all right, I think. All right. Um, have some safeguard stuff. We have the subdue, which your subdue does the five, right? Yes. That is going to be so awesome. Uh, in fact, we could subdue over here. We get a max hit. That guy's automatically subdued. Done. And he is the second to go. Like, it is tempt uh, I don't think there's a way for us to not be exposed, though. That's the problem. And there's also a chance that it... It's a 50-50 chance that it rolls low and we don't subdue him, though. So, maybe we don't do that. Don't have a lot of other good shots, though, to be fair. I mean, the safeguard also does grant 20 defense. So that's always an option. And then we can take a shot right after. So we can defend somebody who's, you know, maybe potentially exposed or something. Which might actually be ourselves. Uh, we can also team up. We're going to get reinforcements. That isn't, a, that isn't thought. We team up Claymore here. I think we have to team up Claymore. I mean, the reinforcements are going to be rough, but the sooner we deal with this mess, the sooner we can get out of here. I mean, exposure, but I just feel like dealing with this would be such a good move. Because what if it works? Okay. Well, I have 50 50 chance. I mean,. We can still deal with him, though, is the thing. We have a way to, we can get rid of him in some way. Uh, and the Dominator's going to move if we do this. It's possible he doesn't move enough to do anything, but... We could also just fire it off right away to do max damage here. It does get rid of that tree back there as well, uh, potentially. I mean, do I fire at it, get, get rid of it? Do I let it go off on its own? If it goes off on its own, it's only going to hit the Paladin. I may just want to come up here and... Oh, I don't think I have a shot against this guy. Never mind. I really have, like, no shots against anything. I mean, I could take a shot against the Paladin and let the bomb go off and maybe finish him off. It's a 77% chance that I get him low enough that the bomb kills him. 
or I could shoot the bomb and do some guaranteed damage to that guy and this guy. Which is effectively more total damage, to be fair. Alright, we'll do that. Because we're like 8 damage. Which is more efficient overall. Does leave the pallet enough, though. That's the problem. Oh, I'm stunned. Alright, so I have a charge. So I can charge bash there. Get rid of the dominator and do some damage to that guy. Uh, is that a... No, I should be able to kinetic shield first. And if I'm going to kinetic shield, I'll probably kinetic shield her. Maybe. And then charge stun. Just to get her... I mean, I can also flashbang, but I'd like to try and hold off on this flashbang for a moment. Let's kinetic shield her. Make her like, you know... Or we... Why can't I not kinetic shield her? I can't see her. Okay, well then I kinetic shield myself. Or is it because she's stunned? Maybe that's what it is. Did enough damage to both of them. Nice. That was a good move. Trooper's going to get a free shot against her. Or Cherub. That works too. We're about to get reinforcements. Okay. I mean, so far so good. Reinforcements are going to be tough, but we're down to two mobs left. And she can get a guaranteed kill against the trooper. Or try and go after that guy, but... Let's move her up. Get a little bit more positioning here. Chain jolt. I mean, do we take out the trooper? Or do we get this guy within range of, like, death as well? Or subdue or something like that. I'm going to get some reinforcements here in a second. Probably three, at least. So having two more guys that can act. I mean, I feel like the trooper has to go down. That's one less mob we have to worry about. Oh, we can't even see him. Never mind. So that's a, that's a moot point. I could do an uh, overwatch, but I don't know if that really would help us. We'll get this guy within kill range or subdue range or whatever range you want to call it. Oh, no, Claymore was the one that got stunned. I was thinking it was her for some reason. Uh, that's 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 unfortunate, getting him wrapped up like that. Bunch of reinforcements. Oh, this is going to be hard. Presumably, the sooner we get this thing, the sooner we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we do get three actions before anybody gets anything else. I mean, I could subdue this python real quick. Be done with him. Get chair back. Probably the right move. Yep. Do I want to move somewhere else to get a little bit more of cover of some sort? I mean sort of pseudo cover over here from at least a couple of the mobs. Oh, he's stunned. Uh, I think he still gets a shot. Uh, he just can't do anything else, right? Oh, no. He gets completely lost. His oh, he lost his turn. All right. That's okay. We do have a charge. I don't know why he keeps getting rid of his thing, but we do have a charge bash here. Which would not kill the adder, but presumably would kill the other guy. Yeah. Um, making kinetic shield something. I could do it the other way. Just put him out there so he's more likely to take one of the shots at least. I could also flashbang. Maybe now's the time to flashbang. Uh, flashbang does not cost an action to activate. That's right. So let's flashbang back here. Flashbang these two guys. Flashbang. Keep forgetting that it doesn't cost an action. Alright, then we kinetic shield ourselves and then we come up behind this trooper and hit the adder. Yes. I could kinetic shield terminal, but I think this is okay. Charge bash this way. 
put him out there exposed. Hopefully he takes at least a shot. And then um, go from there. Adder's probably, I was gonna say, Adder's gonna go after terminal. Oh, it missed. Wow, what are the odds? Hopefully this guy shoots Cherub. He's not going to. He's going to shield up. Oh, he did shoot Cherub. That's fine. Shield lost. Got a charge, though. Okay. Making progress. He's still stunned. Is he really? Why well, do we get rid of your stun? Do we have to send, what's your name, uh, the med thing over there? I just assumed the stun would go away. Uh, I mean, that paladin back there. Gonna be trouble. I mean, I can get rid of the adder. Which is probably the right move. Move up and zap the adder. I could also zap this guy. At least it puts a damage on the bruiser. Which is actually another idea that would be useful. Let's get to the high cover. And I can't zap him, so... Oh, I can't even, zap, can't even see the adder still, so never mind. Makes that. Yet yeah, again, I am moved to point. I mean, I could zap the bruiser, get a little damage on this other guy. He's got two armor, so that's actually might be the better move. Him being stunned is just frustrating. Because two jolts and the bruiser's gone. Armor or not. Okay. And we do have armor too from that ability, so that's really awesome. Are you still stunned, buddy? Can I safeguard you and get rid of your stun? Cleanses burning acid and poison effects. How long are you going to be stunned for? I don't know if I understand that. Um, I can move up here, trigger the thing, still get a shot off on something. Uh, alternatively, I could also just subdue one of these battle boys, like uh, the bruiser. Only if I did minimum damage, right? I wouldn't subdue him. There we go. Oh, that's right. I think I think it does it ignore armor. I keep forgetting if it ignores armor or not. Uh, I think I'm gonna open and close open this real quick. Be done with that. Presumably we have to escape now. Oh, we're right here. Okay. Claymore is no longer stunned. Good for you, buddy. I mean, took a little vacation there, huh? And throw the bomb up here to maybe do something to one of these guys. Like, for example, the adder here, although it's not going to get triggered before the adder has a chance to move. But, I mean, I could throw it over here, and then maybe somebody else can trigger the bomb. Could also leave this guy around to escape next turn since he is the closest. So, I'll just take the shot here. Throw the bomb and then, like, shoot it to kill the adder. Get the guaranteed kill on the adder. Probably the right move. Could also just leave it in case, you know, something comes through that. But no, I think we gotta get rid of this adder. He'll be able to escape in a minute. You know, he's right next to it. Cherub needs to get out. We're going to have reinforcements. Cherub needs to throw kinetic shield on her. Get as far as he can. And that should be good enough. Because I think she's going to have some issues getting out of here. Yeah, he's just going to get as far as he can. He'll have to escape next round. It's going to get a guard. That's good. Um, you can zap and then escape, right? Yeah. So we might as well do what we can here. And then we'll get out of here. And I think we will escape her. I think. Yeah, we probably will. That's one less person we have to worry about, you know, in the list. Oh, never mind. That ended her turn. Why did that end her turn? I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Up. Yeah, not everybody's going to be able to escape, unfortunately. Covering 
flanks. And it's gonna be a bit tough. Because she cannot double move out of here. She can't even double move to like cover or anything. I mean, she can double move and then Cherub, she's going to take a potential attack, but then Cherub can protect her afterwards. I could just stay here and subdue that guy or subdue the Paladin or something. I mean, those are also options. I mean, if I move over here, subdue that guy, he doesn't act. I mean, he was going to act pretty low anyway, but then she would be able to get out after that the next turn. Does put her in a bad position though. It's three mobs that can attack her. Unless I can do something against this guy. It's a toughie. Otherwise, if she moves, everybody gets to attack it. Have a turn. Nope, I think we have to subdue this guy. And hope that somebody else can do something useful. She's going to be able to escape next turn. Running out of ammunition. I think we have to escape you. Um, I think we move you up. Or we take a shot and then move you up and escape. Slim chance that we can do this right here. But even if we can't, somebody else might be able to follow up. Yeah, we got a critical. Let's get you out of here, though. Oh, why did you end your turn? Blood on my jacket? Again? Oh, because... Never mind. It's an attack. I'm... I promise I'm all right. It's a little bit late. I'm going to be fair. I've been playing this all day, or I say playing this, playing games all day, doing recordings. So it's a little bit late and I'm not, if I had moved first, I then could have shot and then I could have escaped. I'll be all right. I, I, I know how the game works. I just obviously momentarily forgetting how the game works. Um, I do want to kinetic shield somebody. So if I kinetic shield does not end your turn, I can kinetic shield her. She's going to be exposed. Armored up. Then I can move him out of the way. In fact, I can even charge bash this guy from here. Should be able to escape then, right? And I think that is the right move. All right, one down, three to go. I'll be all right. I, I should have done that in a different order earlier, and I would have been okay. It's okay. Uh, I, I know. I know, <laughs> I know what I did wrong. Um, move you first, then we can zap. Then we can escape. Oh, no targets available. Really? That's unexpected. Uh, I still. We still need to escape. I was not expecting that to be like a line of sight issue there. Lots of mobs coming in, unfortunately. I still think terminal gets out of here, but it's going to be tight. Oh, she's good. In fact, both of them move before anybody else does. That works. Moving. Cover me. No, it worked out. Uh, I made a mistake, but it worked out. Need a fresh clip. Finding a better spot. Good job. I mean, a little bit of damage, uh, nothing too bad. Lightly wounded, lightly wounded. Excellent rating. Got seven enemies, we did get the 20 intel. So, nope, that worked out. That was a good mission. We actually got quite a bit of intel from the, uh, the mission itself, as well as that extra stuff. All in all, not bad. 40 intel, minus two unrest, 20 more intel from that. Unrest is lowered to three. City Anarchy has risen to five, which is rough. Uh, yeah, okay. So we have that thing active in the middle now. You ever want to talk about anything? I'm around. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> no. I, I mean, you rush into things in the field. I've seen that before. I know what it means. You think I have a death wish. I don't know. Do you? I rush in because I understand the concept of accessible risk. Hmm, okay. Okay. But thanks for the vote of confidence. 
Um, one more turn on both of these guys, which is fine. And we can now go after this thing, which would lower the unrest, which would leave us with only one that has some unrest that we have to worry about. We do have enough intel to do another thing, which we probably will do. In fact, I might as well go ahead and pick it now. Uh, it doesn't look like it really matters which one of these things I go after, actually. Oh, I can also lower the unrest here as well. So, nope, that is a good move. We're going to lower the unrest here. And then once we do this one, that'll actually take everything out of that scary range. There's also freeze district unrest, which I don't think is necessary at the moment. Because nothing's going to increase at the moment. Uh, once we have a field team in every place, we can do that one. So let's put a field team. Like I said, it doesn't matter which one of these we go after. Sure, Riverside. And we'll do the technology one. And so three to go. Progress. We got some money to do some stuff. But that is that. So we will do this mission next time. It is going to be a very difficult mission. It does give us a very tiny amount of credits. Um, does it actually tell us how many three projected encounters? So that's going to be fun to deal with next time. We also have a vent breach option. So we might want to buy the little vent thingamajigger so that somebody can sneak through that. So yeah, we'll deal with that next time. I do appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.